Dr. Sachin Nandedkar is a man on a mission, and he's crossing the city of Pune to make a rare house call. He's here to treat Rajiv Kedkar, who suffers from a chronic skin condition called psoriasis. And though Rajiv is eager for Dr. Sachin to ease his suffering, he's more than a little unsettled because he knows the cure in this doctor's bag is one that's certain to get under his skin, leeches. Every year, millions of Indians choose not to visit their country's modern medical clinics. Instead, they seek traditional healers like Dr. Sachin, who use leeches as part of an ancient system of medicine called Ayurveda. Its holistic approach to treating illness includes dietary changes, curative oils, massages, and relaxation therapies, and leeches. For Dr. Sachin, the results speak for themselves. Leech therapy always show us positive results. But even here, leeches are often taboo. The whole point of having leeches stuck to your body and having a therapy out of that, I think, is really madness, you know? If I see a leech, I can't stand it. I won't even go near it. I would try it only if, you know, there is nothing in the world that can save me from whatever I'm going through. Why would anyone voluntarily allow himself to become a meal for a blood-sucking leech? Rajiv is convinced this leech will provide relief for his psoriasis. He's tried Western medicine and it hasn't worked. In certain cases, like Rajiv's psoriasis, Dr. Sachin and his wife, Dr. Kirti Nandedkar, believe a patient's ailments stem from toxins or impurities in the blood. Basically, it is the Ayurvedic concept, not in modern science. Ayurveda insists that leeches naturally remove toxic blood from the body. We just apply the leech to the local part of the body which is affected to take out the blood impurities. The method is quite natural and 0% of harm is there. But not necessarily for the leech. Blood impurities are said to be as dangerous to these parasites as they are to the patient. So Ayurvedic doctors douse their leeches in turmeric powder to get them to expel the toxic blood. We just make the leeches to vomit because she cannot digest the impure blood. Dr. Sachin is optimistic that people's faith in leeches will continue to hang on. By embracing this taboo treatment, patients keep an ancient cure alive and well.